If you haven't owned a 2024 Chevrolet Silverado, you may want to think twice about buying one. The new Chevrolet Silverado undoubtedly has some commendable features, but compared to its rivals, it's fair to conclude that the manufacturer fell short of many expectations. Despite the Silverado being a big truck, it drives like a small car. The Silverado is enjoyable to drive and easy to maneuver into parking spaces. Additionally, it offers considerate features like the multiflex tailgate, which can be ordered, which makes it easier to transport longer objects and enter the bed by converting the tailgate into a step or load stop. The tailgate can even be used on construction sites as a desk. With the Silverado, things aren't perfect though. Compared to the Ford F-150 and the Ram 1500, it has a less potent engine lineup. A more opulent cabin is also featured in the GMC Sierra. That's all great, but now let's look at the seven issues most 2024 Chevrolet Silverado owners find most frustrating. Outdated interior in base modes. The current version of Chevy's full-size pickup was so obviously flawed from the minute it was shown. The company hurriedly launched the latest generation to keep up with competitors. Thus, there was no time for interior renovation. The dashboard design stayed the same instead, and it did so up until recently when the midsize cycle redesign finally introduced a new, much more contemporary dashboard design. However, a new interior was not standard on all trim levels of the redesigned Silverado. The simplest model still had an outdated cabin without a fashionable design and a small infotainment screen. This essentially means that getting a modern interior design will cost more, which turns off potential Silverado buyers. Furthermore, remember that conditions are far from optimal, even if you're ready to pay more for a finer interior. Aside from the sizable infotainment screen, appealing dashboard layout, and marginally enhanced ergonomics, when compared to the competition, a few things still feel below average, and the choice of materials is particularly lacking. Simply put, these Silverados still trail major competitors in this area. Fuel Management Due to recent spikes in gas costs, even truck drivers have begun to focus heavily on efficiency, which has left many Chevy Silverado owners feeling rather underwhelmed. True, the Silverado lags behind several of its main competitors. A prime example is the base Turbo 4, which gets about 19 miles per gallon in the city and 22 miles per gallon on the highway. Ford's standard V6 achieves about 19 miles per gallon in the city and 24 miles per gallon on the highway, as opposed to roughly 20 miles per gallon and 25 miles per gallon for the Ram's base V6. Furthermore, Ford's 2.7-liter Turbo V6 is more powerful than the Chevy Turbo 4, while achieving remarkable fuel economy ratings of 20 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles per gallon on the highway. Similar circumstances apply to other comparable powertrain choices. While Ram's Hemi V8 can achieve roughly 23 miles per gallon on the highway, Chevy's V8 engines can achieve up to 21 miles per gallon on the highway and 16 to 17 miles per gallon in the city. Finally, the 5-liter Coyote engine from Ford achieves fairly good mileage ratings of 18 miles per gallon in the city and 24 miles per gallon on the highway. The diesel version, which has recently been modified and now offers greater power and torque than Ram's V6 oil burner at the same time is the only way to attain superior fuel economy. Product quality Pickups from just a decade ago aren't comparable because of how far modern vehicles have come in terms of ride quality. The Silverado is no exception, and compared to some models from earlier generations, it is unquestionably a far nicer car to drive. The Ram 1500, which revolutionized the pickup category with its multi-link suspension system, is one of the primary competitors. It's more agile, with significantly less body lean through corners, but not everything is perfect. On the other hand, Chevy's pickup still uses reliable leaf springs, a technological answer that has existed since the beginning of pickup trucks. There are a few well-known downsides to the technical approach, particularly in terms of comfort. There's a lot of bounce, especially when the cargo bed is empty. Even though some competitors, like the F-150, also rely on leaf springs, they seem to be able to smooth out road irregularities a little bit more. To be honest, this chassis does offer several advantages, one of which is maneuverability. When you're in the driver's seat, this pickup handles confined situations reasonably well and appears smaller. However, most Silverado owners dislike the virtually non-existent steering feel, especially at higher speeds, which is another drawback. Dependability Issues Unquestionably among the most dependable pickups available, the Chevy Silverado is not faultless. One of the first things to remember is that most Chevy engines are somewhat oil-hungry, so it's crucial to regularly check the oil level to avoid significant engine damage. There have also been reports of selector switch failure and issues with the four-wheel drive transfer case position sensor. Additionally, a lot of customers noticed shifting flares when accelerating as a gearbox problem. 
Even though some of these problems can be rather inconvenient, the Silverado is generally a pretty dependable vehicle that consistently outperforms the competition in this area. A few additional problems have also been recorded, such as the failure of the start-stop system, sound system, and various in-car electronics. Adaptive cruise control has bugs. Modern pickup trucks can be customized with a wide range of tech and comfort options, making them the perfect companion for SUVs and crossovers in many ways. One of them is the quality of driver aid features, which the Silverado has enough of. In this regard, it may be fully equipped with a variety of cutting-edge technology, however, not all of them function flawlessly. One of those is adaptive cruise control. It contains some problems that aren't only bothersome, but also perhaps harmful while maintaining the speed and distance. Many owners are dissatisfied with the adaptive cruise control's behavior in stop-and-go traffic, since it periodically causes the truck to lag in front, forcing the driver to maintain a sharp focus on the road. The system consequently appears somewhat pointless, much like many other General Motors vehicles. The Silverado also offers a fairly advanced cruise semi-autonomous driving system. However, we also have a minor issue with it, because Ford sells a technology very similar to this one, called the Blue Cruise, and many more variations of its pickup, you can get it in Rivals as well, but you can only get it in the top tier version of the Silverado. Lack of a high-end off-road version A good off-road version of Chevy's full-size truck was something the automaker resisted offering for a very long time. The Trail Boss variant did have some off-road modifications, but it was still far from an ideal off-road vehicle. As soon as we first saw the Silverado ZR2 a couple of years ago, everything significantly altered. The Ram TRX and the Ford F-150 Raptor appear to be ahead of this capable pickup truck in terms of features. Everything on this pickup that's designed for off-road use appears to be flawless. High-performance Multimatic dampers, 2-inch suspension modifications, enormous mud terrain tires, two locking differentials, a 2-speed transfer case, and other features are included. Even the most costly off-roader in the Silverado portfolio has the same engine as the rest of the lineup, even though Chevy also offers the Bison package with additional off-road modifications. The ZR2 has the same 6.2-liter V8 engine with 420 horsepower, but you can alternatively choose a 3-liter inline-six turbo diesel model and gain slightly more torque but much less power. The massive supercharged V8 engines that power the Raptor and TRX, each producing more than 700 horsepower, separate them from the rest of the group. Even the brand new Tundra TRD Pro has greater capability than the ZR2, thanks to its hybrid powertrain, which generates an amazing 583 pound-feet of torque. Uncomfortable rear seats. When it comes to seating configurations and general comfort, the current generation Silverado is very adaptable. Regular cab layouts are used in base models, and we have no issues with the single row. But in higher trims, two bucket seats, which likewise provide a high level of comfort, take its place. The second row, on the other hand, isn't exactly ideal. The double cab model offers that extra degree of luxury and versatility. But because of its arrangement, which is more like an extended cab, the second row feels a little cramped, and adult passengers are unlikely to experience the desired level of comfort. The crew cab variant, which provides plenty of second row legroom, makes things much better. So there isn't much to be upset about there. Three adults can fit in there very readily, although they won't appreciate lengthy journeys very much. Regarding comfort or side support, the back seats may use some improvement. It also feels a little awkward to sit in. And when you consider the restrictions associated with the rear suspension setup mentioned earlier, it becomes clear that the Silverado cannot be considered a family hauler, in contrast to the Ram 1500, which feels significantly more comfortable in every way. The 2024 Chevrolet Silverado is a versatile half-ton truck that can be used for family road trips and on the job site. Although the Silverado has a lot going for it, its above-average price lets it down compared to rivals, who provide clear power and refinement benefits.